Yes, my name's Fred Walkington, MBE. Uh, my family have been fishing from Bridlington since about the 1840s when the harbour was enlarged. I myself was fishing in the 1960s and 70s and today we're here to commemorate really and put the names of all the fishing families that uh, fish from Bridlington Harbour and to commemorate this wonderful statue of the Gansey girl. The Gansey obviously is the traditional fishing garb that the fishermen wore when going to sea and all the patterns were entirely different. Very much to re reflect all the fishing families. Uh, I want this to be, you know, I think we all want this to be a, a very inclusive piece. So uh, the names will be going on the Gansey girl uh, of the fishing families that are over the centuries and those names can be added to. So everybody must feel involved and part of, uh, part of this piece of work and that it represents them. So here we are on the second day of pacing the family fish on the Gansey Girl. We had a superb day yesterday. We had generations turning up. I think we had four generations of both Buckinghams and Scotters turning up. And it was such great fun. Despite the weather, we had some um, fantastic northeast coast weather yesterday, but it's a bit brighter today. We're looking forward to inviting 10 more families to place their own family fish on the Gansey Girl. Steve's been hard at work getting it prepared. So we're good to go. This is your fish, Mr. Murray, to celebrate your family, family's association with the fishing industry. And this goes down, down there, just push it in. Um, Andrew, would you like to tell us a bit about your family's history and their association with the harbour? Yeah, my family's been fishing for many generations. Uh, my father and his father before him, and even his father before him, but was lost just along the coast in a cobble going back to the 1800s. And it's a long line of fishing. And your family still associated with the harbour today? This is our son Jack who has his fishing boat at the moment, new venture, and uh, he's crabbing, doing okay. Excellent, right. excellent. And that's what the Gansey Girls is all about. It's all about the whole family and those that support it as well. Because Karen, you're involved in, in the fishing industry as well, aren't you? Yes, I'm from the other side of it. I sell it. They catch it and I sell it. <laughs> First of all, I'd like to welcome the chairman of the East Riding New Yorkshire Council and also the uh, invited guests for the uh, unveiling of this Gansey Girl. Now, as most of you are aware, this Gansey Girl is a representation of the fishermen's wives from years ago that uh, used to knit these Ganseys for the fishermen to wear when they were at sea. You'll notice when it's unveiled that she's facing the harbour entrance, watching the fishing boats come and go, and she symbolises and celebrates the local Bridlington maritime heritage. Now, I'm, I'm really sure that this is a good thing for all the visitors that come to the town and, uh, and the public in general. Thank you. My name's Rob Robinson from the University of Hull and I've had the privilege of, of chairing the group that uh, have actually looked over this, uh, this trail uh, uh, that put it together. It's, it's a sculpture, there'll be another work of art, but there are also a whole series of uh, boards, information boards around the place. And it's state of the art, because when you get out there, you press, you, you get your, your, your phone, your, your smartphone, press it in front of any of these uh, boards and you'll get a lot more information. This harbour has such a lot of history, so many different things, particularly the fishing industry and the development of it. And what we wanted to do was make sure we show all sides of this, the current working use of the La Harbour, the fact we didn't want anybody to go away and not know that the important role that Bridlington today plays in the shell fishery. We wanted to do the whole lot, put everything together. So when you go around the harbour, when you see the different trail posts, uh, they tell you something of this wonderful harbour and it surely is going to be an asset for the future. I'd like to take this opportunity to invite the chairman uh, of the council and also the chairman of the harbour commissioners to carry out the unveiling. I'm extremely proud and very pleased that I've been asked if I would help with the unveiling of this statue. I think that in the not too distant future she will be as well known as the Little Mermaid in Copenhagen. So thank you very much indeed, and I'm ready when you are.